Let's take a look at the supplies you'll need to transfer 8mm or high 8 tapes to a digital format. You're going to need a computer with a USB port, the Elgato Video Capture. You'll need your original video camera or a used one that you can get off eBay. And you'll need this RCA cable. The smaller end of the cable goes into the video camera and the RCA cables go into the Elgato Video Capture. So let's go over all of that now. On front of the camera, there's a little flap that you can open up. See, once you open up that up, right in the middle there is the AV out. You'll want to put the small end of that cable into the AV out. Once that's inserted, you can take your red, yellow, and white cables and plug those into the Elgato video capture. And then you'll plug the Elgato video capture into the computer USB port. And now you're all set up. And in case you're wondering what that thing is on the side of my computer, my computer doesn't have any USB ports. So I actually had to buy an adapter for my computer. So if your computer doesn't have a USB port, you can purchase an adapter for usually pretty cheap on Amazon. Let's take one last look at the setup. Now I like to put all the cords in back so that they're out of the way when I start transferring. Setup's ready to go. Now we need to download the software that's going to help us convert our home movies to a digital format. So let me show you how to do that. To download the software, we'll go to elgato.com and then click on Downloads on the main page. After you click on Downloads, go to the search bar, type in the words Video Capture, and you'll get the correct download. Right now it's version 2.0.7. It may be a different version if they've updated it. And notice on the right there, you can either do the Mac version or you can do the Windows. Just download the software, follow the directions, and you'll be ready to go. Okay, let's transfer our home movies to a digital format. The first thing we'll do is click on the Elgato video capture icon. And just a quick note here, if you are a Mac user, to get to the icon, you'll go to the launch pad in the applications area. And there's the icon right there. Okay, let's get back to Windows and open the program. That brings us to this screen where we'll name our movie. We'll name it home movie number one. And then we'll decide approximately how long the movie will be. Now what's really neat about this is that it tells you how much hard disk space will be required. So 30 minutes of video is going to take up 535 megabytes of hard disk on this computer, which is pretty cool. But I think we're going to need a little longer than 30 minutes, so we're going to do 120 minutes. And as you can see, that's going to take up about 2.1 gig of hard drive space. Now, there's another reason for this number, and we'll talk about that a little later. Once we get to this screen, we want to put our tape in the machine and push play. We want to do this so that we can check our video and our audio. And once it starts playing, you'll see that we do have a signal. And right now we're using the RCA. There's an S-Video option, but we don't have the S-Video plugged in. The Elgato uses the RCA, so that's what we'll use. And then you have an option of either doing 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. Now you'll notice when I choose 16 by 9, it just stretches it. It's because I didn't originally shoot it in 16 by 9. It was a standard format. So I'm going to pick standard. That looks a lot better in standard. So just see which one looks better for your video and choose that one. And then on this page is where you select the audio. The audio levels here look pretty good. The bottom one is not going, but that's because it's mono. It's not stereo. So if you see that one track is on, then you're good. Uh, and we're golden here because the top one is on. Okay, now it's time to continue on to the next page. And once we get to the next page here, we'll want to set our tape where we want to be. So you'll want to stop and rewind or fast forward. Just get your tape where you want to record it. You can look at your actual machine if you have a flip out screen like this, or you can just look at your computer, rewind there and see exactly where you want to start. And that's what I did. I just look at the computer. And once you find your spot, you'll want to first start recording on the computer and then press play on the machine. That way you'll be sure to get the entire tape. 
Now I want to talk about this screen a little bit. There's this button which is automatically stop recording after 119 minutes. And that recording time is based off what you chose at the beginning. So if you chose 30 minutes at the beginning, it'll record 30 minutes before it will stop. And if you chose 120, record 120 minutes before you stop. So that's a nice feature. And if you uncheck it, then it will just record forever. The one below it is mute sound. Now that's going to mute the computer speakers only. That will not mute the recording. So that way the audio won't be distracting if you're working on something different. Okay, I think that's enough. Now we'll stop the recording. And on this screen, there are a few things. This handle right here is a scrubber or the playhead. As you drag that back and forth, you'll be able to see what you recorded. And then the bottom handles are actually the trim handles. So the one on the left side is your in point. So you'll want to set that one to set your in. And then the one on the right side is your out point. So you'll want to use that to select your out. Okay, that looks good right there. Now, before we move on, I'm going to show you this preference button. If you click on preferences, you can go there to decide where you want the video saved. Once you have where you want it saved, press continue and it will pull up to this final screen and it will say your movie was saved successfully. And here's one thing I love about the program. When you click on the link that says home movie number one, it'll take you right to your video so you can check it. Now, one of the really neat things about Elgato is it works the same with a Mac as it does with Windows. So if you're on a Mac, that little link right there will actually take you to where the file is found in the Finder. And you can click on it there in the Finder and see how your movie looks. All right, let's get back to Windows again. Now, this looks good. It looks like it actually started where I wanted to start. And as you skip to the end, it actually ended right where I wanted it to end as well. So it's pretty nice and it's a pretty good way to digitize your videos. Now it's all ready to go and ready for us to share with our friends and family. And then one last note, this area here shows you exactly where it's saved. So it's saved in C Drive, Users, Katie Olson Videos, and then Home Movie. So that's where you can find it on your computer. Now, I recommend that you get this done as soon as possible. My wife and I have been doing this for a long time, almost 20 years. We started out doing it on DVD, and now we do it in this digital format, which is really cool. But the tapes that we got five or 10 years ago were in a lot better condition than the ones we're seeing today. So we can see that the tape is degrading and that the quality is getting worse. So it's important to get these digitized as soon as you can while it's still in the best shape that you have right now, get it digitized so that you can capture those memories and keep them for years to come. Now, there are a couple of options. If you run into any problems, you can always reach out to me, olsonmedianetwork at gmail.com. Uh, we do consultation services. Also, we do transfer the video. So if you have a ton and you just want to get our help transferring, you want to send some videos to us uh, to transfer, olsonmedianetwork.com and we'll give you a price and let you know uh, what that would be. But hopefully this video will help you get it done on your own, get them transferred, and you'll be able to watch them for years to come. Your kids and your grandkids, they're all going to love this. Uh, I love doing this for people and I love helping out. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and I hope you have a great week.